Hello friends, so in this uh, video, we are going to discuss the closed loop control of buck converter. That is how to simulate closed loop uh, control of buck converter in MATLAB. We have already discussed the open loop uh, simulation of buck converter in uh, my uh, previous video, right? So let's get on with the, so how do we do it? So first on paper, we have to plan, how do we go for the closed loop control? So this is my, uh, Converter and uh, in that, uh, this is the switch which is actually controlling the output. And how do this control? Uh, it is controlling the output with the help of duty ratio control. That is by varying the switch on switch off time of the switch, actually, the output is controlled. So, this is how I am supposed to arrange it. This is my reference or set point, and uh, this is the feedback whatever is the actual voltage I'm feeding back over here, whatever is error, it is given to the controller. I'm using integral control over here. It is written PID, but in simulation, I'm using only integral action. And then whatever is the output of this controller, it is given to the PDM, PWM generator, which will produce the pulse. And this pulses will be given to the uh, switch, which will operate this switch. And this is how the whole closed loop operation is going to work. Okay, so this is how we have planned the closed loop control. Now let's see the simulation uh, in MATLAB. How, how do we execute this block diagram in MATLAB? So here, uh, as we know, V0 is controlled by D and D is controlled by the PID controller. So uh, look at this screen. This is our original circuit in which uh, in a previous video, we had given this pulses from pulse generator in open loop simulation. But in closed loop, we have measured the actual voltage V0, which is output across the load. And this output, this uh, V0 actual, I have given as a feedback. This is my reference. I have selected a reference voltage over here. You can select any voltage over here, which, which should be less than the supply voltage. In our simulation, I've selected supply voltage Vs or input voltage as 100 volt. And this is 80 volt is a reference voltage or required voltage. So whatever is the error is uh, given to the controller and controller takes action and then uh, it generates the duty cycle that should be. It is given to PWM generator and then it is given to uh, the gate pulse, the pulses. And based on this, the switch will operate in such a fashion that required output voltage will be Produce, right? So all these blocks you can you very easily find uh, in uh, the library of the simulink and then you can uh, get to this particular model file and then connect in this fashion to create this closed loop uh, model, right? So what next? This is the reference voltages. Now this is the PID control. I have only taken in integral action, proportional gain or uh, the other gains I have not concluded because here uh, very uh, dynamic, large variations are not there. We have assumed only resistive. Right? So this is the integral control and I have selected gain as one only. We can change this later on. This is the switching frequency of the uh, PWM generator block. So switching frequency by default it is 5000 Hertz. I can uh, reduce or increase the switching frequency and see the effect. So this is switching frequency. Okay, now when we simulate this for 80 volts, you can see you are getting the 80 volt over here. Like this. Where first waveform, first window shows uh, voltage across inductor, this is the uh, current through inductor, and this is the output voltage last. And you can see over here, it is nothing but the 80 volts. Right? This is when you zoom on the waveform, you can see it is, the variation is very, you can say almost, you can say it is between 79.5 and 80.5. So this is how it varies, but average uh, voltage is uh, almost, V0, that is 80 volts, which is equal to required volts. So this is how we can ascertain that closed loop control is achieved. You are getting the voltage, which is actually equal to the required voltage. This is the duty ratio. And this duty ratio is not uh, selected by us. 
depending on the required voltage and actual voltage, uh, the controller and PWM controller generates D, and uh, it is given to PWM generator, which uh, produces the switching pulses. This is one more simulation with different voltage. So I have changed the reference voltage as 40 volts. You can see for with same input voltage 100 volt, now output is equal to 40 volts. So any voltage which is less than 100 volt can be achieved using this closed loop speed control. Right. So now let's see the actual uh, simulation in MATLAB. So I have already created the model for you. You can see the uh, model over here which is uh, the same which we have shown in this slide. You can see uh, it is the constant 80 volt is my reference. And uh, this is the ID controller where only, only selected I action from here. This is the PWM generator DC DC. Please select BC DC PWM generator. There is PWM generator for inverter also, which will be having multiple pulses. Here we require only one set of pulses for this switch, and it is given to this switch. The other circuit we have already discussed in our previous videos, so I'm not wasting my time. So just I'll, I'll click on the simulation button and then I'll be able to do it. So this is how I run the simulation. And you can see, you auto scale it, you can see the output. So it is 80 volt, right? Like I can change the simulation to say 60. So reference has been to 60 volts. Auto scale it, and you can see that yeah, 60 volt is achieved in steady state. I'm showing the steady state response at present. The transient response I'm not touched up. Right now, you can vary the input also. Uh, it, here it is 100 volt. Suppose if I change input from 100 to 110. Then also I'm expecting the output to remain 60. If that is the case, then only I can say close loop control is achieved. I'll change output by 10 volts or say 10% variation in the input, and output should remain constant. It's executing and uh, let's see the waveform. See, with variation in input, the output still remains 60 volts. So you can say that closed loop control is achieved. So this is how a closed loop uh, simulation, closed loop simulation of closed loop control of buck converter can be done. The concept of closed loop control and concept of power electronics we have combined. And uh, here, uh, the, what various studies you can do, you can vary the switching frequency over here. You can see if you reduce the switching frequency, the ripple or variation uh, is going to increase. You can change the value of the load, which is uh, uh, here 10 ohm. You can change the value and see the effect. So with all these different variation, the output should remain more or less uh, same as uh, given by the reference value, right? So that is the objective of the closed loop speed control. So that's all in this video. I hope you understood and you enjoyed this video. We'll come with more such videos in our next session. Thank you.